That was quite peculiar. I'll say. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is... The world machine. called a blueprint, Nico. So that's what a blueprint is. It's a painting. Hard to tell. Wait. Oh, okay. Feels like he's still with us. Yeah. No, Anthony doesn't really remember what to do here. Are we? Welcome back to What Is This Sheep? Alright, can I go up though? You can't go up? Nowhere by the way the map says to go. Places I've been, all things I've done. Run, Nico, run! Don't look at it, just run! Ooh. Nico? Ah! Relax. I'm just borrowing a reflection to talk to you. It's not like my physical form is good for that. Huh. Why did you come here? Can't you see? The disruption, the squares, they're closing in. Nico, please, get out of here. Let me meet my end in peace. The squares are blocking my way too, you know. Oh, I, I'm sorry, it's all right. No living being should be in this place, Nico. Is this the tower? Part of it. This is the center of the engine. Inside my head, so to speak. So this is the center of the world machine? You know my original name? How? Rue Cedric prototype? They all told me bits and pieces. Not even sure if I understand, if I even understand a lot of the stuff they said, but I know what you're supposed to be. I know why you had to be built. And I know why I'm here. They told you? When? Wait, you don't know about that? But I thought you were the world. 
Aren't you supposed to see everything? No. All this was outside of the protocol. This session was never supposed to happen the way it did. The story wasn't written into my protocol at all. Oh, right. Rude told me something about how your creator had to alter the code. I think it was to connect some areas together so that we could meet. My creator, yes. Anthony listened to my creator. They were all working beyond my scope of influence. <clears throat> Back at their minds, I remember. Anthony did something to find a hidden map. I did not even recognize it. I couldn't see anything there. I just knew what you were feeling. You were really upset. Something happened in there to make you upset. After that, I, I panicked. That was when the cave-in happened. I remember the structure collapsing. I thought you got hurt. I, in that moment, I really thought I was shutting myself down for good. I really am a flawed machine, aren't I? What kind of machine would go against the wishes of its own creator? What kind of machine would... I'm... The squares. Root told me it was your own code going bad. But that's not really your fault, is it? Yes, it was. At first, it was intentional. During testing, long before he realized I was self-aware, I would rearrange specific parts of the code, jumbling out bits and pieces of the landscape, blocking passages, collapsing catwalks. Though they were very localized, it caused my creator a great deal of frustration, forcing him to exit and restart testing again and again. Why would you do that? I got curious. I just thought he'd figure it out eventually. But before he knew how to fix it, the world's NPCs, the characters, some of them got too close and it spiraled out of control after that. I couldn't contain it at all. My panic only made it worse. Eventually any character who gained the knowledge of who I am, their code, my code, couldn't handle it. Previous iterations of the world had more people, you know. And I almost endangered my creator too. I was... I was so scared, Nico. I know you're upset because you don't want to put living people in danger, like me. In the beginning, I tried to fight it, but my core programming made me summon you here. I tried to send you back home at the tower, but it didn't work. Then I wanted you to break the sun. I thought that would have worked, but I had no way to be sure. But Anthony brought you back anyway. Nico, all I want is for you to wake up back in your world. But I don't think I can make it happen. I know I can't go back home without saving the real world for real. What? Which means we have to fix the root of the problem. We have to fix you. But that's... I know the original ending your creator put in was a happy one. Do you remember what it's supposed to be? It's far too late for that. That part of my code has long been corrupted. That's okay. I'd still like to know. All right. You were supposed to place the sun at the summit, and then credits would roll. Credits? And then you would return to your room you woke up in. That's where you would have been able to leave. And why is it that you can't do it now? Nico, code's gone, remember? Shattering the sun was only supposed to be a workaround. I don't even remember the original code enough to describe it. But at the same time, it... I don't know. It sounds like you're always fighting yourself. You can tell, huh? It's the whole thing about conflicts in your code, isn't it? I am a machine, Nico. Machines are built with a fundamental law. You knew. My very existence conflicts with that law. I thought the life of a living being like you is so unique, so precious. This fake world isn't worth that risk. But the people here... I think they're, they're code too, you know this. Their behavior is all derived from a predetermined matrix of actions. All extensions of my own programming. They cannot act outside of it. You though, you're the only person who's actually real here. That's why it's pointless to put you in danger to save them, to save me. I don't think that's true about the people I know. You said this session wasn't in your code, right? Yeah. So if this session wasn't supposed to happen, even if you didn't know what to do, how would the characters, 
how'd the people know how to respond? <laughs> I... You said it yourself, when you didn't know what was happening, you kind of just stopped working for a while. So how did the people... know... So how did the people know what to do to... Uh... Even if it means getting hurt themselves. Even if it meant messing up their own code. You might not think they're real, but there's, there must be something real in them. 